The Bible says that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. I have your host, Dr. Bishop Shane Paisley. I have with me today my co-host, my friend and the minister of the Greater Faith City Ministry. But she's also a leader and a pioneer for the Word of God testimonial ministry. She has a beautiful radio broadcasting that is doing great on the radio. I want you to welcome Minister Han Latimer from the Word of God Testimonial Ministry. Welcome. Thank you, Bishop. Well, thank you so very much. And thank you again for this opportunity to, um, to talk about Word of God Testimonial Ministries. It's a blessing. The reason why I say it's a blessing, I remember you were brought here by one of my good friends, praise God, almost over here going to two now, and praise God, you have get ordained, and then out of that, then the burden of the ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know that God, God has not given you a church, He has given you a ministry, That's and your ministry right. is doing phenomenal in the hurt room Thank with God. conference. Tell us about the radio ministry. Oh, the radio program we have um, is held every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m., and our radio program has four segments. The first segment, we have testimonies. So the lines are open to calling for testimonies and also for prayer. Could you give them a look in the, look in the, look in the camera and give them the telephone number for that radio program and the time they can call? The number to call is 954-561-1553 or 954-961-1554. Uh, again, it's aired from, on Thursdays from 8 to 9 p.m. Um, we have a second segment on the program that talks about children and family matters. Yes, and in, indeed it is very imperative that children and family matters should be our center and our focus point because the Bible says, hallelujah, godly family is the bedrock of a nation. Amen. And when the family is in tune, then the nation is in alignment with the will of amen, God. Amen, amen. And also the kids are our future. Yes. So we really focus on, on, on right now a topic we've been focusing on is homeschooling. And one of the things that we talk about in homeschooling is the advantages that the kids who are homeschooled has against, I would say, the, anyone, um, the public schools. Yes. Because they are totally ingrained, spiritually ingrained. Yes. You know, they, um, okay, as far as the education, the academic skills is so much higher than an average person who's going to, I would say, um, public school. So you are saying that the children who get home school had has had, had more opportunity because sometimes it has been singular and more attention has been shown. Exactly. More attention at home, you get more family time. It's a family unit. And again, it's the, the word of God. They, they learn the word. Not only the academics, but it's the word. They ingrain with the word as well. So, so we got to pray for God, the parents for this. Amen, amen, amen. That they amen. can train up a child in the way that should go, that when they are old, they will not depart from it, because the Bible declared that children are the heritage of the Lord. Praise God. And, 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 and what the other subject you talk about? Okay, the other topic we have, segment three, we have community matters. So we deal with different things within the communities. Well, we had um, someone come and talk about the middle class squeeze. We had an attorney that talked about the middle class, class squeeze and how that that middle class is being shifted away. Mighty God. And so we have, you know, in the community matters again, we talked about all these different scams that's going around the, all across the country with the IRS scams, the, um, the, uh, the also we have the um, disability scams that's going around. So people are, have to be aware of what's happening in the community. So we bring these, all this information forward to the community. That they can be aware that they should go through the proper procedure. Exactly, the awareness. And do not get, and do not get scammed. So because the Bible says, we don't, my people perish for lack of, for knowledge. Lack of knowledge. So, so, so the, the, the information is also education. Yes, and it is. And education is power. It and is. what power does is bring forth that awareness that a person can make better decisions. That is so true. And, and then the final... And the last segment yes. is a building wealth in the kingdom. Oh, I love that. No, wealth. Because building wealth in the kingdom. And the Bible says that money answereth all things. All things. Yes. And, and some of the way that you, you, you have people coming to talk about building wealth, what are some of the areas? Some of the areas that we've had um, someone come in and talk about opportunities for small businesses, different loans that's available for small businesses. And this is a loan. I, I, I also recognize and know that you are in the real estate. Huh? So, so how do you help people in the real estate in the loan 
especially for those who buy a home for the first time. But one of the things that we do at um, Reality Check Realty, we work with the individual to get the credit right. Oh. We do credit restoration. Yes. In order for them to put them in the, in the where they are now able to buy a home. Uh, well, I want to ask because sometimes I've, I've, I've heard from people because everything have two sides, which is called negative and positive. Is there anything real named credit restoration? There is. There is. You have to, basically, there's certain procedures you have to follow. But I've, I've worked with individuals that this core um, information was dropped off from the credit report. Yes. Which increased their credit rating in yes. FICO scores. And, you know, as we look at as lenders, they all look for your scrap, your FICO scores. Yes. That's how they how they base your lending in addition to your income and the ability to repay the debt. But the FICO score, so your credit report is very critical when it comes to getting ready to buy a home or any purchase that you want to make. So one of the thing, one of the thing I've learned in, and one of the thing I, I one of the thing I taught I, I, I taught people a lot. I said this. Until you can have somebody to help you to repair credit score, one of the greatest restoration is to start to pay the bills that you owe. Exactly, exactly. However, there are some of the bills that, that are on a credit report that have already been expunged or removed, but because no one follow up, it stays, stays on there. Stays there. Right, so that's how we dispute those items as a credit report, especially items on the report that do not belong to you. Okay, because so they, they need to be removed. We call it personality theft, where, where, where people teach Exactly, you identity yeah. theft. Yes, yes. That's a lot of, that's going on quite so prevalent right now. So identity theft is, is again, is something we can look at a credit report and see what needs to be disputed. What remains on the report, we try to sell it so we can get you a clean report and get your scores up. So it is very imperative, based on, 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 on the, the gross identity theft that is going on globally, where people can thief your identity globally. I believe that, as I listen to you, it is very imperative that, that everyone should therefore have a way how to check their credit. Oh, oh, what is the best way of checking your credit to keep a tap on what is going on in your credit? Everyone is entitled to a free credit report per year. And that's it. You go to www.freeannualcreditreport.com, and that's again is provided. You you can get a try mode to three different bureaus reports. So you can see what your scores are. Again, it's it's available to you once a year. So every year you can go in there and check and see what your scores are and see if someone is using your credit that you're not aware of. The last thing I want to ask, I want to ask some people said, I'm going to credit karma. What is credit karma? Leave that alone. Praise and God. I'm here I just have to say one other thing, Bishop. Yeah. One other thing that we talk about in the um, in the in the segment building wealth is opening opportunities for home buyers to take advantage of the down payment assistance that's available throughout the different counties. Because you know, owning a home is just the American dream. That's building wealth. Because yes. you own a home and your equity increases, that's wealth. Look into that camera and tell them where to contact you to get you to clean up that credit and purge that credit Hallelujah. purge it in the mighty name of Hallelujah. Jesus Hallelujah. go ahead and tell them and your the address is there right now okay you can contact me at um, 305-710-8559 that's 305-710-8559 or you can also email me at ahs and latimer that's a-N-N-L-A-T-I-M-E-R at gmail.com. That's my email address. So you can send me an email or you can give me a shout out via the telephone and see, you know, let's see what we can do to help you because we are there again to help you to build wealth in the kingdom. God bless you, heaven. Keep you on Dr. Bishop Shane Paisley. And I'm here talking to Minister Anne Latimer from the Word of God Testimony and Ministry and from also our beautiful radio broadcasting. I want to encourage you to keep the dream alive and watch God work in your life.